Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'll be showing you the spill drill outside, a biological safety cabinet, and the proper waste management and segregation. Alert everyone in the area. Doff PPE. Leave the laboratory area for at least 30 minutes. Inform the laboratory manager and the biosafety officer. Place a sign on the door indicating that there is a spill. Don appropriate PPE and re-enter the area with your spill kit. Always go as pairs. Place absorbent material on the spill and cover the whole area. Pour appropriate disinfectant concentrically, starting from the outside part to the center. Observe appropriate contact time. Pick up the absorbent material with the use of tongs and put it inside in a yellow bag or the biohazard bag. Perform another round of cleaning until the whole area has been cleaned and dried. Duff the used PPE and put the discard bag into another discard bag or what we call the double bagging. The contaminate waste in autoclave. Remove the signage. Prepare a report. Segregation is the key to any effective waste management. Before doing segregation, we have points to remember. First is the hazard level. Is it infectious or non-infectious? Next is the waste type. Is it solid, sharp, liquid, or mixed? Next, we have the container type and size. It is to ensure access to appropriate containers for each type of waste and lastly, we have the color coding. It is a quick visual indication of risk associated with wastes. So this is the color coding scheme, which is according to the DOH Healthcare Waste Manual 3rd Edition. So first, we have the black. The type of the container is trash bean or plastic bags. And the type of waste is non-infectious dry waste. Next, we have the color green. So same with the color black, the type of container is shush bean or plastic bag. And instead of um, dry, we have the non-infectious waste, um, which is wet waste. Next, we have the color yellow, which is um, the type of container is plastic bag in double bagging. And the type of waste are infectious pathologic wastes. Next, we have the red. And that the type of container is puncture-proof container. And it is intended for sharps. And lastly, we have the orange. And the type of container are containers. And the type of waste are radioactive wastes. In dealing with segregation error, staff should never attempt to correct errors of segregation by removing items from a bag or container after disposal or by placing one bag inside another bag of a different color. Always remember the rule of thumb. If general and hazardous waste are accidentally mixed together, the waste should always be treated as hazardous waste. For the labeling, always remember that proper placement and labeling of containers and masks. The collection of infectious waste must be done by trained utility personnel and the collection must be done on a regular basis. That's all for today. I hope you learned something and stay biosafe. Thank you.